The offensive line has to be an area of concern for the Browns. The big guys up front have to give the skill position players the time and the space to do their thing. Now, there is a question, who will be the right guard? And the Browns are still working through that. It'll be a little bit before they figure that out. But the offensive linemen, they feel like the line is progressing quite nicely. It's good. I feel like we're pretty comfortable in the offense. And, um, you know, guys are moving well. Guys are adjusting to, to playing positions. I know Corbett took the one reps yesterday and Kyle took the run one reps today. And I think they're just going to be rotating for the first, you know, five, ten days to really try and see who's going to take that spot. That spot, you see as a matter of uh, their incumbents, if you count Robinson's eight starts when you guys went five and three. Incumbents at the other spots, and that's not an incumbent situation, and that's why there's a, a, like a, a, an ostensible job competition? Or how do you view that? Yeah, I think they just want the best guy there. Um, and they feel like there's a few guys that you know, have the ability to start at that position, so they're going to try and work it and, and put the best guy there. They're going to earn it, you know. And, and Greg kind of took over and proved it in eight games last year that he could be a left tackle when he's, you know, motivated and, and thinking and doing the right things. And... Um, and that's, that's kind of where we're at in that situation. Last year, uh, Zeitler uh, um, just kind of uh, offhandedly and uh, in a spontaneous comment uh, uh, basically said he wishes his, he was as good a player as you. you just, you're just, uh, you know, uh, you get after it and uh, your, your talent obviously uh, got you drafted pretty high. But uh, uh, the question off of that is uh, uh, do you kind of view yourself at this point of your career as, uh, as good as any uh, left guard out there? Um, you know, you watch a lot of film, and there's a lot of good players. You know, Quentin Nelson just came to the league, and he, he's a heck of a player. And, and uh, you know, there's, there's good guards. You know, Zach Martin, I think, you know, a lot of people say is, is the cream of the crop at guard regardless. But um, I think there's a lot of things that guys do well. Like, me and Zeitler are kind of different players. You know, he's a little bit more of the power guy. I have a little bit more finesse and athleticism. But um, everybody does things really well, and I don't really compare myself in that manner to – oh, who's the best, who's not. It's just, you know, who's playing well this week. And if I see someone that does a good thing against one of the guys we're playing, I'll try and incorporate that in my game. But there's a heck heck of a lot of good offensive linemen in this league, and and I just try and, uh, you know, be in the conversation for that. From that, that I'm, I got this one last follow on that, sorry. But uh, the, the, the follow-off of that, and, and the, given that, then what are you trying to accomplish uh, in addition to obviously helping the Browns be a better team and, uh, and make the playoffs? Yeah, it's – it's, you know, we're just trying to improve every day, trying to have the best offense we can out there, and then at the same time compete with the defense and um, just trying to improve off one another. You know, if, if someone gets the better of the other at practice, then, you know, that, that's good. We're going to learn from that. We're going to watch the film and, and just try and improve so we're the best team. When you look at this defense, do you – what kind of potential do you think it has? I think it's been – very not unorthodox but it, they they throw a lot at you and i think that's going to be tough for other teams to, to figure out what they're doing they do a great job of disguising and moving around and and getting in different positions um so it, it's been good for us because obviously we have to go against that so we end up seeing everything uh we go up against everything we have to have an answer for everything um so they're they're not a team that's just going to sit in their their base defense and just bring the same three. They're not going to just rotate three calls over and over again. They're going to they're going to keep throwing stuff at you and find where your weak spot is. And that's that's great for you know self scout for us because we get to find out where our weak spot is as well before you know the games actually matter. So it's been really good going against a defense like that because it you know it elevates both sides of the ball. In this transition you guys have um, to camping, mm -hmm. uh, a guy you're familiar with yep. again, had mm -hmm. history with. How much of a leadership role have you taken? Helping the other guys, kind of, you know, with the way he wants things done, right. and mm -hmm. you know, just you know, everything that kind of goes with being the center and, mm -hmm. and being a guy who has a good mind for it. Yeah, I think uh, it's almost like I become the uh, Rosetta Stone of uh, of the group, where I I kind of know what Campy and Blasco are thinking, uh, being with them for a while, and then I know how the guys interpret it too. So I, I'm kind of that middleman of getting everybody on the same kind of wavelength. Um, so it's been great. I love Campy. Um, spent four great years with him. Uh, never, never was in the same room with with Blasco, um, but was with him at the uh, at the team. Um, and there's two really good guys, really really good football offensive line minds, uh, and they've been they've been great additions. Um, and they've kind of meshed well with the room and the the type of attitude and group we had 
uh, with them coming in. You know, they've, they've matched that, and uh, it's been a really good fit. Have you seen their coaching having uh, an added effect on any individual teammate of yours, you know, making him better? No, I think it's still really early, though. I think, I think they're very good fundamentally, so I think that's something as time goes on you see that. It's still pretty early to kind of see those fundamentals develop this soon. Um, but we, we harp so much on being fundamentally sound uh, and kind of doing everything the right way from you know the snap of the ball to the end of the whistle. Um, so that's all things that as time goes on, you'll start seeing more and more of that. Eric Cush is a guy who's seen some time at right guard, but he's mm -hmm. also proven to be a pretty reliable center. Yeah. Um, as a fellow center, what's your opinion of him? I think we brought in a lot of kind of intelligent veteran presences in the offensive line room this year. Uh, and a lot of guys who have seen a lot of things, played in a lot of games, uh, and Cush is one of them. He, I mean, he's been around for a long time, has seen everything, and he's been a great addition, um, just kind of understanding and being there for the younger guys too, of having, you know, this is how I see it. This is a different perspective. Uh, it just having more of those guys who are pros, pros, and, and kind of get what we're trying to do here makes that room better. Would you say Brian Wisdom kind of falls with that kind exactly. of too? Yep, yep. All, all the guys that have come in and just had so much game experience and practice experience um, just benefits and brings the entire group forward.